A new report into sea sponges reveals that little organisms play a big role in filtering millions of cubic metres of our oceans. In recent years, millions of the sponges have been killed in marine heat waves, sparking further research. Alexa Cook has the exclusive details. The creatures clinging to New Zealand's reefs are not just decorative, they're a critical part of our food chain, filtering carbon and nutrients for fish to feed on. All of that recycling could be really important for, for fish species, you know, um, the things that we, we like to eat. But millions of the sponges have been bleached and killed by soaring ocean temperatures. What we're really interested now in knowing is why that particular species was impacted, but a whole range of other species of sponge weren't impacted. So James is ramping up his Fiordland research, leading a team of scientists into its depths, studying the many different impacts of climate change on our vulnerable ecosystems. He specialises in sea sponges and after years of work, his latest study has calculated that the organisms cover 15% of Fiordland's rocky underwater areas. In doubtful sound alone, they're pumping half a million cubic metres of water every minute, removing 5% of the food, such as phytoplankton. We think that sponges in these fjord environments are really important in that cycling of, of nutrients, um, taking the food that's in the, the water, um, transforming it and moving it to the seafloor through their pumping, and then releasing waste products that, uh, that other things feed on. Um, and then they get eaten by the, the fish that, um, that we all want to consume. To gather the data, scientists are using a remotely operated vehicle. Turn right. It reaches depths of more than 100 metres, where we can grab a sponge sample using the controls on deck. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's definitely yeah, got it, got it. Can I let go now? Yeah. Now rip. No. no. More power? <laughs> and bringing it up to the surface. Now that the sponge sample has been collected, it's then put into a bag and into the freezer so the Victoria University scientists can take it back to their lab in Wellington where it's then put into bleach to digest the tissue so that they're left with a skeleton that can go under the microscope. They have a permit to take dozens of samples, some of which are being gathered by marine biologist Manon Broadrib as part of her PhD. Yeah, they're kind of ecosystem engineers, they filter a whole load of water, they create habitat, um, so it's really important to know how they might uh, look in the future, I guess. She'll be doing experiments to reveal more about how some sponge species can survive marine heat waves. I'm going to treat them with some antibiotics, see if, see if I can disrupt the microbial community. The microbiome of the sponge kind of changes naturally or in the natural environment, um, so we're kind of trying to predict how that might affect their resistance to heat waves in the future. Hoping we don't lose more of the little sponges, as that could be a big problem. Alexa Cook, News Hub.